Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my TBR check-in and book haul for the month of March. So I have actually been on vacation and that's why there's been a little bit of a break in between videos um, and I just got back on Monday and um, I left uh, on March the 30th and so there was two days left in March when I left and then I didn't get back until April the 8th. So I was away on a carnival cruise in the Caribbean and it was delightful and relaxing and the perfect escape, um, which is what I needed. And I do have some books to report uh, as far as the old TBR goes <laughs> um, from my vacation, but we'll get to that in the TBR portion, in the uh, book haul portion of this video. First, let's talk about the TBR balance, shall we? So, for the month of March, I read a total of 13 books. Five of those were off my physical TBR shelf. Six were brought in, um, new to me, into my home. Zero were unhauled. And so that left me with a plus one for the month. So we're back up to 100, 106. So yes, I did not, uh, I was not able to reduce this anymore. Um, in March, but that's all right. That's okay because I was on vacation. And so I feel like that six book that I purchased was very necessary in my life. So let's just start out with that one on the book haul, shall we? And that book was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Um, really needs no introduction. I mean, this book is literally all over the place all the time. This is uh, what they what the kids are calling romanticy these days. So it's a romantic fantasy novel. It's the first in a series. I was turned on to this series by my niece. She's read through the series and really enjoyed it. And she recommended it to me. And so when I saw this in the airport bookstore on my way to Florida, I was like, yes, I think I shall purchase this book. And in fact, that I read it on the first two days of the cruise because this is the perfect escapist vacation reading. I had such a good time reading this book um, on my vacation and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for, if you like fantasy novels, if you like a little bit of romance in your fantasy, um, this is a really fun book. I This is not great literature, like, <laughs> you know, whatever. And this is not supposed to be a review, this is a book haul, but I just wanna say that this is a very great vacation book, um, in my opinion. So that was the last book that I purchased in March. Let's go back to the first two books that I purchased in March. And these, uh, this is The History of Bees by Maja Lund. And this is the first book in her series. Um, they're like climate fiction books. And they are translated from Norwegian um, by, why does it not have the tr person... I don't know why the translator is not on the cover. That's very irritating to me. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. It says translated, translated by Diane Oatley. Okay, Diane Oatley is the translator. So this is book one, uh, it's climate fiction. Um, and I actually started reading this one also on vacation, but didn't finish it because it was a little too dark for me for this particular vacation. So I am actually about two thirds of the way through this one. Um, and I was glad to have this one because the third book in this series is on the Book Naturalist Book Club uh, list for later on this year. So I wanted to start the series before I got to that third one. And so I also picked up book two in the series, and this is The End of the Ocean by Maja Lund. And um, I'll see if it's the same translator. Yes, Diane Oli is also the translator of this one. And look at that gorgeous cover. I mean, that is a really pretty cover. So I will pick that one up at some point between now and after finishing the first one and before picking up number three. So those two I purchased close to the beginning of the month. And then um, the last book that I purchased myself is this children's book. This is Fatty Legs, A True Story uh, by Christy Jordan Fenton and Margaret Olman Polkick Fenton. And the artwork is by Liz Amini Holmes. And this is the 10th anniversary edition. Um, and it is beautifully illustrated throughout. It's also got photographs. Um, as well as art in it. And this is a true story of um, a 
indigenous persons experience at a uh, residential school. So this is about um, Christy Jordan Fenton's um, wrote this with her grandmother, I believe. Um, this is about her grandmother's experience. Is it her grandmother or her mother? Now I can't remember if it's her grandmother or her mother, but um, her family members experience in residential school. And I heard about this book on Sean the Book Maniac's channel and he when he first talked about it i had put it on my wish list and then more recently he had an interview with uh christy fenton jordan on his channel and they talked about this book and i was like yes i i absolutely need to purchase this book and i immediately went and and ordered it and uh it came and i'm very excited i didn't get a chance to read it for middle grade march which i did want to do but march was just too busy for me um but i am looking forward to checking this out very, very soon because uh, I'm very interested to read this personal history of um, what it was like to be taken away from your family and sent to boarding school as an indigenous person. And so the last two books that I have to show you are books that I received from the publisher. Um, and uh, this publisher reached out to me and asked if I wanted the first book. And then um, I said yes, but the second book I didn't request. It just came uh, to me. <laughs> like a gift from the gods. So the first book is American Women, The Transformation of the Modern First Lady from Hillary Clinton to Jill Biden by Katie Rogers. And this book is published by Crown and um, the imprint is from Crown, but the, yeah, Crown is the imprint and it is uh, part of Penguin Random House. So I appreciate the fact that they sent me this copy to read and review. And I will be reading it very soon because you know I am very interested in um, presidential biographies and therefore am also interested in presidential first ladies. And when I first received this book and when I heard about this book, I thought it was like a survey history and was gonna talk about all of these first ladies. But since then I have since read um, the jacket copy here. And this is more specifically about Dr. Jill Biden. And I am really quite fascinated by Dr. Biden because I think she's a really impressive lady and her career and her, you know, not only her connection to the president, but her career is really interesting and the tragedies that she's lived through in her life. Um, and I find her uh, to be a very admirable person. So um, I'm very interested to read more about her. So I'm thankful that Crown sent me this copy to read. So hopefully I'll be getting to that one quite soon. And then the second book they sent me, um, I was very surprised when it arrived in the mail, but thrilled. This is The Trading Game, A Confession by Gary Stevenson. And again, this is uh, published by Crown Currency, which is like, like a sub group of Crown. Um, Penguin Random House is the parent company or whatever. And this is about Gary Stevenson who grew up in East London and got involved like as a career, got involved in trading, um, you know, stock trading or whatever. And basically, you know, became very, very successful at that game and was making lots and lots of money. And then, uh, but then the economy started to falter and he started to feel like, questioning the ethics of what he was doing and the morality of what he was doing. And so this is his story about what to do when you're very successful in your chosen field, but then what you're doing maybe doesn't feel so good to you personally and emotionally and um, for the ethical things that you maybe have to think about when lots of people in your country and around the world are suffering from economic hardship um, and you are profiting off of that. So I think that sounds really fascinating. I am not a, a, like a stock market person. Like I don't, tr I've read a few things, but I don't truly understand how it works. Um, but I think this personal sort of view of it from a person who was participating in that system and then thought better of it, um, I think that sounds really interesting to me. So looking forward to trying this one as well. And also, Pretty cool cover. Uh, <laughs> so that is the book haul for March. Um, did go over, uh, did add to the pile, brought it up by one. And, you know, part of that was because I was doing book two prize reading, which most of those books I borrowed from the library or um, got electronically. Um, so, you know, when you're doing a lot of that kind of reading, it really, it really makes your physical, personally owned TBR suffer because you've, you know, you've got to read some other things. So we'll see how I do in April. I mean, I will say 
that there were more books purchased during vacation. Not a lot, but there were a few more books purchased during the vacation. Um, so we'll see if I get a chance to read those before the end of the month or whether they're going to count against me. Um, stay tuned for that. I hope you're all well and finding some great books to read. I will talk to you later.